Yeah. Here we're having lasagna with purslane, lamb's quarter, and did you put some dandelion too? Sweet basil. I didn't. Sweet I basil. To get the no dandelion, just uh, sweet basil that we get, we're growing and purslane and lamb's quarter. Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick morning walk on the trail. Well, these two rows of Sharon's I stuck in the ground, and that's pretty much all I did was stick them in the ground. Haven't died yet, anyways. Guess that's a good thing. Wildflower plot's doing fairly well. Comfrey, that comfrey's doing pretty good. Goji berry. I uh, sawed some uh, apple, dead apple limbs off the other day with the uh, little Baku Laplander. You can take the rest of it down, it's deader than hell. Um, planning on getting a, a dog or two here in the next, next few days, if not today. Uh, had kind of a weird thing happen, um, Monday night I think it was. Oh, there's some stuff coming up. What is this? I think this is wildflowers. And there's some, see some marigolds and other stuff coming up here. That's cool. There's a mint I planted. It's not dead. I just kind of plopped it in the ground. I do some kind of lazy ass gardening sometimes. I just hope it, hope it goes. Raspberries I plopped in the ground. Three of them look like they're doing all right. This one's a little sketchy, but supposed to even be growing here asparagus now, I do believe I saw at least one coming up no oh, I see two one over there they're really tiny but I see I think I see some coming up that's sweet so I got some asparagus, asparagus growing back here it took them a while <sighs> I think this is Supposed to be wildflowers too. Looks like a bunch of damn crabgrass to me. And that's about all I see is crabgrass and dandelion. Cut back through here. It's supposed to be daisies growing this one. Never really seen nothing but crabgrass, and that's about it. Anyway. strawberry growing through here so that's cool oh I was, I was talking about uh, Monday night uh, I was kind of having sexy time with a girlfriend Monday night about 11 o'clock in the camper and 
something just straight up pecked on the window right behind their heads, man. Tapped on the window. Uh, hmm. Some corn stalks broken down there. I don't see any footprints. I don't see any prints at all of any kind. They just broke, broke down. Hey, I mean, they're they broke down good too. Huh. I see no tracks in the mud whatsoever. But yet they're broke down. I wonder what that means. Interesting. That one's broke clean off. like this outside uh, outside trail right along the outside of the property so you can kind of look at this kind of stuff along the look for prints in the mud and the field and stuff tracks and I'm getting sidetracked yeah something tapped on the window I mean I just you know within within a foot of her head so we there's no mistaking me. There was a tap, 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 tap right on the window, you know. And I, I just fucking went into, you know, defensive mode. Jumped up and racked the persuader and threw on my through night headlamp. Went out the door and grabbed the Glock on the way out. I, I had a persuader in one hand, the Glock in the other. Get butt ass naked. And ran out the door. Ran all around, all over around the camp, around the camp, around the house, around the garage, through the garage. Never saw or heard anything else. But. I mean, you know, I'm trying to tell my, I've, I've tried to tell myself it was some sort of animal because it don't make no sense. There's no vehicle anywhere around. I mean, there, there are houses, you can see houses around here. There's still a pretty good walk away. I mean, and I went around and checked, you know, because we got cornfield around three sides. So I went around and checked, except for this side. Um, went around and checked, uh, check the mud around them see if anybody went through the cornfield look for footprints didn't see anything so they would have had to went up the road or across the road and through the field either way that through night uh that through night uh headlamp you know they couldn't have got very far so i was really stumped at what it was tapped on the window but I don't know if you guys saw this earlier or not but you see a little path through the here that very definite path in the lay right there see the previous owners just straight up totally mowed this flat every year all the time so I'm kind of happy to see that, that you know I'm getting some wildlife in here already <sighs> makes me pretty happy I don't understand why what these there's a few spots like this this field I don't understand the purpose of that really <clears throat> anyways yes I ran ran butt ass naked through the uh through the uh, yard for about an hour half hour an hour I never saw anything but you know I, I've had a house robbed multiple times and my girlfriend's house has been robbed multiple times 
There's something to beat that down too right there. There's like, I know there's always a lot of rabbit right over in here. So, but anyways, we're like pretty much not going to allow shit like that to happen here. So, we're going to get a couple dogs. You know, it'll be good for alertness if something comes into the yard. Keep the, keep the coyotes and coons away a little bit. Away from the rabbits and whatnot. And any other creeping, creeping mammals whether on two legs or four clean this up some more burn some more stuff You drag, drag these dead mulberry branches over the wood pile that I cut off the other day. And since this is a kind of our seems to be our main mulberry tree, I want to clean up through there a little bit so we can get in there and get in there and just lay a big ass tarp down. Of course, that means getting in there I guess cleaning out this uh, cleaning out some of this poison ivy too I ain't looking too forward to that yeah, I'm not going to go up to the garden right now yeah right after Right after the whole ordeal of the the uh, uh, window tapping incident, my girlfriend asked me if uh, she asked me if, if the ga if the trail cams would have caught it because I have trail cams up around here for security purposes. And I'm like, yeah, if I put, if I had put the, the, uh, memory cards back in them, I might have caught it on camera. So, I got the, the, uh, memory cards in the game cam, or trail cams. Um, we're going to get dogs. And I've got some more lights to put up, and I'm probably going to buy a few more, too. That's some, you know, kind of got us thinking a little bit more about security around here. Like I said, we've both been, we both had houses robbed, and yeah, you know, we don't know if it's a coon. I can't see how a coon could have pecked on the window, but this is kind of a pretty weird situation that got us. That's really thinking about making security on the home instead of a little higher priority. Got some fungi growing there. Got a lot of milkweed coming up over here. Mulberry trees.
I've said or not in the previous most recent videos but uh we got the get the water well pumped this weekend so hopefully we're gonna be getting that fixed and after we get it fixed we uh There. Somebody must have breaded this up at some point. Maybe me, I don't know. I'm not even sure where the hell this trail goes. It's kind of funny. I've lost track of my trails. I think that's an inside trail. The interior loop is what I call it, I think. I'm going to finish this video up here pretty soon. I just thought I'd take you guys on the walk with me and share the weird experience that we had the other day. I'm going to try the milk pods this year. I wish there was some more growing. Maybe I'll let them grow and not harvest any this year. I don't know. I don't know. There's quite a, quite a few growing back through there. Through this. Uh, more than I thought. Be a lot of butterflies coming through here soon. Let me clean this pile up. Ooh. Anyways. I gotta feed the rabbits. Uh, also, I'm getting some new rabbits here. Uh, a new rabbit, I think. A new rabbit and a new hutch. Um, somebody offered me two rabbits. And they weren't meat, bre meat breeds, but I knew somebody who might want them. So I was like, hey, you want these rabbits, you know, if I don't want them? And they said, they said, yeah, I'll trade you a bigger one and a, and a big cage for them. So I'm kind of wheeling and dealing with some rabbits. Boy, listen to them. They're all... She's all mad. She's mad. She's mad. I get you something to eat. All right. I gotta get him something to eat. See you guys later. So here's the new homestead dog. His name is Gus. That was his name at the shelter. He's a uh, a tree a tree walker coonhound. I think I got that right. He seems to be a pretty good dog. He's a new homestead doggy. Yes, he is. I'm a good dog. Taking him for a walk on the trail. He needs brushed and washed and all kinds of stuff. There you go. Pee all over the place. Let them know who. Let them know who's running the show around here. Let them critters and all that know. Yeah, good dog. They said he'd been in the shelter for a while. Apparently, apparently nobody wanted him. He act almost act like he didn't want to leave, like that was home. Okay, come on, come on. You need to learn to. Follow some commands here. We're gonna have to teach you. Get the, I'll get the doggy snacks out. That's it. Pick up their scent, boy. That's a good dog. 
that's like a little bit a little bit of training getting these he's excited right now because he's got a new home but uh kind of hoping he'll make a good hiking dog yes kind of hoping he'll make a good hiking dog yes. kind of getting a decent pace going up here not straining good boy Let's go on the outside trail. See how you do when we get around where I know there's some rabbits at. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, look at that. Looks like some coyote poop. You smell the coyote poop, don't you? Look at that. He's right on that. I didn't even see it. Oh, look at him. He's ready to hunt. Him ready to hunt. Him ready to hunt critters. Ain't you, boy? Come on. There you go. Get back up on the trail. Good dog. Good boy. That's a good pup. Kind of missed the scent of the deer, apparently. <laughs> 